This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this tutorial video, we're going to take a look at how to create a branched form using Google Forms. Go to section based on answer option. I'll show you how to set up your form with sections so that you can branch the questions. We'll look at the feature go to section based on answer and we'll preview what it looks like from the standpoint of a user filling out your form. Let's get started. In this example, we have a summer camp sign up. We're asking some questions about the student information and medical concerns, but if there are no medical concerns, then the respondents are gonna to have to skip through questions that they don't need to get on to the next part, which is about their contact information. So using forms branching, we can chop this up into pieces so that based on what they respond here, whether there are or are not medical concerns, it will take the respondents to different parts of the form. In order to branch a form, you need to create sections. So right now, users who are filling out the form would automatically go from one question to the next with no interruption. But this question here is one that would allow me to branch users because I'm asking a question and then I'm following that up with some more detailed questions on that same topic. So this is how to think about the section. Sections should represent topics of questions. To add a section, I click this Add Section icon on the right-hand side, and then I can title my section. So I've made one called Medical Concerns, and I'm going to make another one called Parent Contact Information. What I'm going to need to do is move some of the questions that I have up here into the new section. It's important that the last question on the first section here, the very top of my form, be this branching question because this question will determine which direction the user goes to. So I'm going to move these other follow-up questions down below here. And now that I have those questions added to this section, I also have arranged this third section, which is the parent contact info. I've made sure that the questions related to parent contact are all falling into this section. So what this looks like from the standpoint of the person filling out the form is they'll only see this first page here and then they'll choose next. And it's at this point that based on whether they choose yes or no here, whether they'll go to section two or section three of my form. So I have to set those rules up for moving them from one section to the other. Um, and the way that I do that is I go to that branching question that we talked about earlier, and I'm going to change this here. So I'm clicking the three dots, and I'm choosing go to section based on answer, and that's going to turn on this choice here that will allow me to set the rules for where people are directed. So do I want to go to the next section? The next section is section two. So if they answer yes, that's what I want. I want them to go to section two to answer these questions about medical concerns. In this one here, if they answer no, I want them to skip that section. So I'm gonna choose go to section three, parent contact info. Now you might be wondering where people will go if they answer medical concerns questions when they finish with that section. At the bottom of each section, typically, it will say continue to next section. So if I have people going into the medical concerns questions, when they finish that page, they'll be moved to the parent contact info. So they won't miss out on any questions. Um, one of the things you can also do on the go to page based on answer is direct someone right away to a submit form choice. So in other words, it's possible that one of the sections is at the end of your form, and if they don't need to answer those questions, they can just submit the form. So that's in addition to the pages, the different sections, submit form is also a choice. So now that I've set this up, uh, we can test the form out. So I'm gonna preview the form, and I'm using the form filler add-on just to be able to automatically fill my form with nonsense so that I don't have to type lots of information in. So if I choose yes, let's see what happens. It'll bring me to the medical concerns page. I'm gonna go back and check to see that the no works correctly. 
If I do this, as you recall, I'm going to hopefully be directed to the parent contact info. Let's try it out. So yep, this is working correctly. Now I'm at the parent contact info, and when I finish this, I will be ready to submit my form. So that is how you use forms branching to direct users to certain parts of your form based on answer selections they make. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos and how to use technology effectively in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.